Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Boulder City, Nevada. What am I doing here? Kevin, I thought you were in Prescott. Well I was. I have some friends down here, invited me down for a few days. Stopped by Miss B's, got my mail, and decided to go down to Lake Mead Campground. Spent a few days right here on the water. I'm at campsite 115. And uh, if you guys watch my channel, you may remember I was here when we had the government shutdown. There was hardly anybody here. And I got to stay for free. And now it's $20 a night. Well, I've been here for a few hours now. And I picked up some shish kebabs at the grocery store. So it looks like a veggie night. Mm -mm -mm. Cooking with olive oil. And a little Tony Cashery. Oh yeah. Mm. That lid was hot. Well, I started off with this. I got it all nice and chopped up. Olive oil. Getting nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Now adding a slice of provolone cheese. Heating up the burrito. Heating up the wrap. Got the wrap nice and hot. Now I'm going to add some Italian style blend. Oh yeah. Now I'll put it back in the cast iron skillet to brown it. Well, got it nice and brown. Mm -hmm. A vegetable burrito. Now that was some good eating. I uh, want to take the time to thank uh, Miss Maxie for sending me my new hat. Take, you guys take a look at this, would you? I'm not saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> my gold and silver pawn shop hat seen its better day. Perfect fit. Thank you, Miss Maxie. That was a nice gift. everyone it's the next day stayed at the Lake Mead campground last night sure was nice and quiet even though it was pretty full and uh, those uh, vegetable burritos they were good but I kind of got my own valley of fire going on this morning <laughs> but uh, this park is on the other side of uh, Lake Mead maybe 60 miles from the campground and I'm um, uh, with a friend today and our dogs, and we're just driving through. I thought I might show you a couple shots of what I'm seeing. It's not often I get the luxury of riding with someone else, not doing the driving. What do you think, Tuck? Man, this place is crazy. It is crazy. It sure is pretty. Yeah, that vegetable burrito last night was good. Fried up those vegetables, took the vegetables off the kebab and put it in olive oil and a little butter, a little Tony Cacheries. But it did a number on my tummy.
but I was trying to eat healthy. You know, trying. I've cut out all my breads. No more Dave's bread for me. I liked it too much. I'm not saying I'm going keto or anything, but I'm cutting back. It's a sight to see. This martini here, she's been clingy all day. I don't think she feels too good. I don't think it's the tongue, though. We can't all be 100% all the time. That's sweet baby. There's a campground here, but they say it's full. So actually, I'm going to stay there the night at Lake Mead. I left my van over there. This is day use only here. Well, I'm going to enjoy the views. We'll see you just a little bit. As many times as I've stayed around Lake Mead and around Hooper Dam and out at Government Wash, gosh, this is only about another 25 miles down the road than Government Wash. I had no idea this was here. Incredible. Who knew? So you could camp up at Government Wash for free once you get inside the Lake Mead Recreation Area. And then uh, come up here, it was a $10 entry fee to get in here. It's an odd looking rock. nice road through here but again this is the valley of fire I never even heard about it till this morning we're turning around here check out this 4x4 tour bus the pink jeep tours cool. just can't believe I've been so close to this all these years last couple years and just a few more miles up the road with so much more kind of crowded down here on the end <laughs> I noticed a lot of uh, slingshots in here We're fixing to pass some of it seen 50 slingshots in just the last few miles. Slow down right here, please. Oh, yeah. Check out that. It's got a roof on it, metallic paint. Okay. Yeah, looks like fun. I'm riding with my friend, and uh, they have a Yorkie as well. We got four Yorkies in the car. This is a uh, Mabel, the barking Yorkie. <laughs> Isn't she a pretty thing? Hey, Mabel. <laughs> I'm glad we came out here. Man, I like it too. Talk about it, ask you. These poor little dogs are wore out. There's a campground here in the Valley of Fire, just outside of Las Vegas. Adel, Adel, Ak, Adel, I don't know if I said it right. I know I didn't, but the campground is full. We'll drive up here right quick and take a we'll run through it. How pretty is this? Right up on next to the rocks. We've got covered picnic tables. We're bouncing pretty good. I'm trying to hold it still as I can. So we've got a little tent set up there in the top of the rock. 
something's really bouncy in here. I believe we got showers here as well. We'll see you in a minute. That's a camping spot. Bathrooms. I wish I wouldn't have said that about the showers because I don't know for sure for sure. RVs only. Ten dollars to camp here. So it's ten dollars to get in and another ten dollars to camp. Yeah, it's got showers. See the sign right there? Hmm. Where are the showers at? Truck camper. Well, I really like this. Looking at the back of your head, baby May Mays. I know. I know it's beautiful. Neat. Little juicy RV with a penthouse tent on top. I see water at the sites, little grills. Check out the little canned ham there with the wings on it. Very good condition. Little airstream right here. Little single axle. Class B. I don't know, I might have to come spend some time out here. There you go. Didn't drive through every bit of it, but we drove through a lot of it. Yeah, I'd like to stay out here. And had an RV dump as well. So we're a little bit further down the road. It's petroglyphs. Off the top of the landing up there. There's Pablo's food kitchen right here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Street tacos, tortas, burritos, quesadillas, asada. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of motorcycles pulling in. Slingshots, Harleys, dual sports. Yeah. I used to live and breathe this stuff. Neat, neat, neat. They've got a really nice covered picnic area here. Grill. Sitting here waiting on the uh, our order. Got here just in time. Another five minutes. Would have been wouldn't have a place to sit, wouldn't get any food to eat. Okay, got my order. I got a torta. Ooh-wee. Yeah, buddy. I needed this. I felt like I might have been losing a little bit too much weight all at once. Then the other was a veggie quesadilla with guacamole on the side. Mm -mm. <laughs> Look at, look at the line behind me. It's been five minutes later. I'd be at the very end of it. If you don't have good looks or money, at least have good timing. <laughs> Babies are begging for a bite. Martini, I'm sorry, I can't give you any, darling. Mabel, she's getting bites. I'm a good dog, promise. I don't know her voice yet. She's getting a little bite here and there. <laughs> it's quite a ways up there. It says that these petroglyphs have been here for over 4,000 years. Reflections of the past and the lifestyles of Native American cultures. 
We don't know exactly the meanings of the images, but this art reflects the thoughts of these people. Well, it's been a great day. We were first at the Lake Mead campground, then we went to the Valley of Fire. It's a lot of interesting things. But I think this video is starting to run long, so I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Are you, are you subscribed to the channel? Why not? If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. Also, hit the notification bell. So anytime I put out a new video, you'll get notified. Okay, you guys take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.